Hi guys, welcome back, Damco, my wife. Hello. Um, this is our journey into actually trying to figure out what we want in a travel trailer. There's been a lot of uh, information given, and we've seen quite a bit. What do you think? I think it's nice. There's a lot of models that we need to choose from, um, but we got to stop and think about it for quite some time and see how we can work this out. But um, we're getting close. Overall, um, this is our journey. I hope you like this. And um, we're going to start off with uh, our thoughts on the first one, which is at Camping World. And we were shown um, the Coleman and the Hideout, which were very long. You liked those when we were over there. Yes, but they're way too long and they wouldn't fit in our driveway, unfortunately. Yeah. And then we'll go and skip to uh, what's next. And what is up, guys? I am here at Neil's, and uh, I came to check out their travel trailers, and they are bone dry. Uh, it's been about a month since I've had COVID. I'm still a little, you know, hurting, struggling. They have one R pod, which I was actually interested in, but it's sold. I talked to them. They are done. And um, I'm gonna go check out another spot, see what I can find. Anyways, all right, so I made it here. I'm in Acton, California. This is All Valley RV. I'll step in and we'll take a look. I can see myself in this, man. This is headspace. Full bunks. That's like a full there. Another one here. Master. Kitchen. I mean, this is um, pretty good, man. I got a bunk here. Got a bunk here. Bathroom. Shower. Do I fit is the question. If I were to get in this, am I going to fit? I'm going to have to sit, sit this one out, bro. To shower. I, there's no way I'd fit in there. I mean, we can get one more out of this, but... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm all about this right here, dude. That's a pass through, of course. I believe that's a um, 30 gallon. I don't know. Man, oh man, this one's nice. Ooh -wee. All right, all right. Let's talk. I could do slide out, you know? But I want to get into something where I'm not just being slammed on a monthly payment um that's a baja uh, i forget what he what he called it exactly but the j flight i heard is really nice but um yeah j flight j co baja Got the awning. Once in four BHW. J. Cole Micro. Man, I really like the fact that they have all of this.
This is probably somebody's. Similar. Very similar. Uh, I believe that moves. But somebody's going to have to get in there or... Yeah, there we go. That's how that works. I mean, this is this is a tight fit. I I like this one. I mean, it, let's be honest. Are you going to be able to uh, fit in here? Maybe a, a child, you know, and my girl, <laughs> my girl, she's four foot 11. She would fit there. I would be here. Again, you can make something out of this. Sticker price. Well, these are the numbers that um, I would have to deal with in my situation. Again, I really do like the open concept on the slides on the Jayco, the coloring, the farmhouse, white. Uh, just overall very good class of RV. Mm, there's some more down there. You see that? It's the Baja. It's a 15 footer. All right, so this is a Baja 15. It's a bunkhouse. Uh, of course, this is where you would make your bed. You got storage up there, appliances, restroom, and of course, your bunks. Shoes go in here. a tight fit I'm not gonna lie but you're going camping to be outside this is just to crash out you know I'm not gonna lie this 15 is a little tight for me um, but monetarily speaking if I can just get some prices which is listed up here So we're literally coming back from camping. We went to Sycamore Canyon, Point Magoo, and we thought it'd be a great idea to come into Simi Valley uh, showroom, the RV showroom, just to check them out. And here's their information, store hours. We spoke to Bob in regards to the Ibex, and um, I really enjoyed it. Very nice. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I like the storage. Yeah, they have storage right there too. Put mm -hmm. all the towels and stuff in there. Is that that's a vent line in there for the toilet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Oh, nice struts. Yeah. Oops. Big furnace, the big um, refrigerator, central vacuum system right there where your toe is. Oh. Solar is on here. Inverter. I mean, they have, these have a lot of stuff on them. I've been looking at the Ibex online, and mm -hmm. I was like yeah. really impressed. And then I seen it, and I was like, okay, yeah, very nice. <laughs> and then you're pretty tall, so this is a full length queen there too. Yeah. Sixty by eighty. Everybody else is going to be like six inches short of that. Yeah. Your feet will be hanging off. So Bob sent us over to Simi RV of Moore Park, a sister company, and they had some great items. Check these out here. Oh, this one's nice, Norma. This is nice, though. 
know, you fit here, right? I should. This folds up yeah. out of the way for space. A little stove. Mm -hmm. Come right. over here. Come, 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 come. Well, that's it for this uh, episode, guys. There's lots to think about and um we did learn some information from nick nick he went ahead and gave her the information but what was what was the information nick gave us eight dollars for every every thousand eight dollars for every yeah, thousand yeah that way we can find out what the uh, monthly payments will be so you figure if your cost is thirty four thousand dollars you divide that by eight and it'll actually give you the actual amount and in here you'll actually see what it comes out to yeah 34 yeah divide it yeah just for a thousand on mm -hmm. top of that um you want to at least have 10 percent and that's a minimum requirement you're better off doing 20 percent of the cost of the vehicle so in uh again thirty four thousand, that would come up to three thousand four hundred or 20 percent which is like uh something again mm -hmm. numbers are down here don't quote me on numbers but they're all here uh, so that's going to do it for us, guys. Um, thanks for watching. We love you, and we'll see you soon, okay? Bye.